Okay, let me start. Uh, in tonight, uh, I will explain the H3 config for you. Uh, this config, these solutions, uh, we can pass. Uh, I am very unsure because uh, in in China we have four and uh, maybe it's five. Uh, tomorrow is uh, another one is passed. Uh, use these solutions. So these solutions uh, maybe not is very uh, perfect, but at least it can let you pass. So uh, let me start how to uh, uh, use it to help you pass. Let me see. Uh, I think the uh, this context is very clear, right? Uh, this is same with uh, other configs. Uh, section one is uh, layer two, and the section two is layer three, and the section three is VPN, and the section four is security, and the section five uh, is supplies. So, uh, let me see the sections one by one. Okay. Uh, in section 1.1, 1 .1, uh, we need to configure the LAN, LAN access. Uh, in here, uh, Cisco told you uh, some request has been uh, configured, uh, just like uh, VTP uh, is turned off, so the VTP mode is uh, is off uh, on all uh, sub, uh, switches, so you don't need to configure VTP. And then, uh, all required VLAN include the access point uh, has been configured so you don't need to configure this and then SVI interface has been configured uh, include the IP address and the uh, mask so uh, this is something uh, Cisco wants to tell you uh, these things has been uh, completed so you just need to do the next uh, requirement in here uh, we need to configure the network in the all, all sites uh, as per uh, the follow quest uh, requirement. Let me see. Uh, access ports must uh, uh, turn up. Mm. Can you hear me? Okay. <coughs> uh, let me continue. Uh, we need to uh, uh, forward the uh, traffic if the link is up uh, and uh, they don't receive a BBDU. So in here we can ensure uh, we need to configure port fast. Uh, I think this is very easy, right? Uh, and very clear. Uh, and if access port uh, received a BBDU, uh, the, uh, it need a, a auto shutdown. So uh, it must be uh, BPDU guard, right? So uh, this is uh, uh, one and the two, uh, first and the second requirement. I think it is very clear and easy. And then let me see the uh, these two requirements. In here, uh, it says ports uh, will be shut down. Uh, let me see. Uh, ports uh, were shut down. If, uh, and then need the uh, auto configs if, after. 10 minutes. So in here, uh, the uh, the topology, uh, the technology is uh, error disable recovery. Uh, the time is uh, 10 minutes. So it's very easy. And then uh, none of the switches may uh, gener generate a TC in here. Uh, but in here, uh, this port, uh, let me see the topology. Uh, uh, in, in the topology, uh, we need to configure all the switches in here. Uh, but in here, if if uh, if you want to uh, deny some uh, TC uh, message, uh, you can't uh, do it. So th this message you need to ignore it. Uh, I think it's uh, the uh, 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 this is no no means right. Uh, let me see the solutions in here. Uh, you need to config all switches in here. Uh, but in here, uh, we can we use the uh, uh, let me see the topology, uh, physical topology.
Uh, in physical topology, you can see uh, switches in here. Uh, in here, uh, these switches uh, will not appear on the topology in here. Uh, just for connect uh, these three devices, so you don't need to configure this, right? Yes, uh, we need to configure the MST, right? Uh, in next uh, sections. Uh, so this is the solutions switch uh, spanning tree port fast, but in here, uh, you need to add the edge in here because the iOS is the latest, so you need to use the edge. Uh, our iOS is support this, and this is the uh, 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 BPDU guard. Uh, this is very easy, and then you need to er uh, need to add the error disable recovery. Uh, the the cost is BBDU guard, and the recovery time is uh six hundred. Uh, it's mean time minutes. Uh, I think it's very easy. Uh, this is a section what? Uh, the so section one point one. Uh, you need to know uh, our section what? Uh, can get. Uh, one hundred percent. So the solution is very perfect. And the uh, section four and the section five uh, is same, uh, can get 100%. So I think the solutions is enough. Okay, uh, this is the section 1.1. Let me see the section 1.2. Uh, in here, uh, we need to configure the LAN, uh, the switches in distribute. In here, let me see the requirements. Uh, we, we need to configure the HQ network uh, and then uh, just like uh, as well as large and the middle office uh, we need to configure a uh, chunk, uh, all chunk need to use the dot cube so uh, this is very clear and uh, uh, disable the uh, this one, uh, the, this port right on uh, in, in all switches uh, this is very clear and then in here we can see uh, switch 300 and uh, uh, 301, 400, 401, and uh, 500, uh, 501. We need to uh, ensure the external uh, use the uh, RACP. So uh, we need to configure the external, right? And the protocol is RACP. And in uh, these six switches, we need to use the uh, active mode, right? Uh, because uh, we need to uh, must uh, initiate the uh, the packet, and then the access switches uh, in uh, this six uh, in this, uh, the, these three switches we must never uh, never initiate the external. So uh, we need to configure the passive. Right. Uh, I think it's very clear. And then, uh, in here you need to configure the layer to external number. Uh, you can following uh the main topology and the layer to connect. Uh, but in our uh, uh in in our solutions, uh, we we can't get the layer to connect. But you can get this topology on the real exam. Uh. But I think this uh, th this topology is not an, uh, important, right? Uh, because we can see the topology very clear uh, in main topology. Uh, let me see the three uh, in this part. Uh, here is the uh, port and the port channel uh, interface is port 1. And in right, uh, in here, uh, we need to use the uh, port channel 2, right? I think it is very easy. And uh, in here, uh, these two switches, we need to use uh, active. Uh, you, you use LACP protocol. Right? Uh, and in here, we need to use uh, uh, passive. Here is active. 